Hi, in this video we'll be generating barcodes, using API Server configured locally. Let's get started. First of all, let me open API Server Documentations. You will find this link in video comments as well. This page lists all API Server methods. But, we are mostly interested in the barcode generation endpoint. Let's open that. Here we have different options such as value, name, type, etc. Value represents barcode value, type is barcode type. We have an API server up and running. Let's grab the local URL of the API server. For the sake of simplicity, we'll be posting a GET request to API server. While in production, please choose the POST request type then. Now, we'll be building a request URL. To start with, let's put an endpoint method name which is barcode slash generate. Additionally, let's put other parameters as well. I am adding a value field of hello12345. Also, let me specify the output file name as sample qr.png. Lastly, let's specify the barcode output type of this QR code. ByteScout API server supports most of the barcode types available. We have set the storage type as local. Hence, all files will be locally generated. Let's keep watch on generated files as well. I'll be cleaning previous generated folders for a better view. Finally, we're all set for execution. API server endpoint for barcode generation will be in effect as soon as we hit the URL. As we observe, we have instant output. Upon reviewing the generated URL, we get QR code generated. Additionally, barcode is also stored in the local output folder. Yay! Now, let's try to generate barcodes with different types. For example, code 128. It's as easy as changing the barcode type in API request query. Let's give it a try. It's working as expected. Simple, isn't it?